Oi. What a beauty. What a beauty. It looks like it's loud. Wow. <laughs> Choke. Let's drop the gas a little bit. What? That was put out. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Sorry Russia. We've gotten ourselves a snowmobile, a snow vehicle. That's pretty awesome, but it's pretty darn ugly. We're gonna do a little blah blah blahing, take a look at it, and uh, then we're gonna drive it, of course. We're gonna drive it around a little bit when uh, Mrs. Sorry Russia is coming back home in half an hour or something. So I'll sit here and blah 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 a little bit, show you the engine and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna blah 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 for half an hour guys, I promise. Even I could, I promise I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much to the patrons, to the guys who watch the commercials, the guys who uh, donate on PayPal as well and so on. That is really darn awesome because uh, that made me able to get this in the right time. I wanted a snowmobile for a long time. But I have refused to buy one. Many of you guys have asked me, why don't you have a snowmobile? Because you can only drive it like five months a year or something like this, right? And they are fairly expensive because, uh, yeah, I never really considered these guys. But uh, after watching one of my buddies driving it, uh, I, uh, that changed things, so to speak. But, uh, yeah, I wanted a snowmobile, but I know they are pretty expensive and, uh, yeah... I would just wait until uh, yeah, I saved up the, the, the money, built the house and finished the house and all that good stuff. But yeah, long story short, I had some interactions with uh, other Buran drivers and uh, all of a sudden my buddy the Slava, he came and said to me, uh, listen, I found this uh, Buran snowmobile, this is the old hunter from the region here who's selling it. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he was too. He said he was too old. His legs were not good any longer, and blah blah blah. So uh, he was basically just getting rid of this uh, snowmobile, there, and uh, we went out to him, and uh, yeah, we got it for a very, very good price. And that's why I say thank you so very much to you guys who support the channel, because it makes me able to do things like on a out on a limb or what we can say or. Uh, yeah, by the way, actually, this money was allocated for computer hardware, building a new computer because uh, I'm way behind on the, on, the, um, on the performance on my computer, but that's a different matter. But anyway, this guy, he's the only owner of this uh, guy here, this uh, snowmobile, this is from 2011, and it looks, yeah, it looks a little bit used, right? But uh, he's been using it as the old timers are using their stuff, you no know, taking care of their stuff hunting, fishing, and uh, yeah, taking care of their vehicles because they're meant to bring them back from the tiger, right? But uh, I'll stop the bubble blowing and uh, let's take a, a closer look at this little guy here. This is a Buran 640, 640cc's. It's a short version, there's a long base and a short based version. That's a short guy, but hang on, <laughs> we're gonna have to do something with it, of course. But basically, it runs and starts awesome. And by the way, these were copied and developed in the Soviet Union back in the 70s or something like this. This is the, the, uh, the original model they, they stole this uh, concept from is the Skidoo Valmont or Valmont. Valmont? 
<laughs> that depends on where you live in Canada, right? But anyway, it's a Skidoo Valmont or Valmont. And uh, it's of course not the Skidoo Valmont any longer, but the same concept, two tracks, and it can actually drive on only one track. So it has two tracks, 38 centimeters wide, and uh, it only has a hand crank. We can make an electric starter on it. And uh, as a matter of fact, I have an electric starter for the Survival Russia vehicle, a spare one. And it just happened to fit right on there. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty awesome. Here's the vent holes, he covered up with some stuff here. This we have to do a little bit nicer. Doesn't look too good. Here you fill up the, the tank. When screen have a crack in it. So that's what the little guy looks like without the hood. So here we have a plastic tank of course, there's not too much left in it. We have to fill her up a little bit. But basically what we have is a variator, just like on the just like on the mini crawler, same system. And then we have a gearbox here, we have a chain in there. And it's uh, forward and reverse, of course. Speedometer, steering, two-stroke engine, carburetor. So we have this little guy here, compartment, we can take a look at later. We're gonna, I'm gonna drive a little bit, I've been driving it a little bit in the past two days, just to see how it is for reliability and so on. And I think we're gonna do a little trip in it. A little hot sun trip and uh, then we are gonna then we're gonna modify it because we still have yeah uh, two three months to drive or something until mid-april or something all right guys so let's wait for mrs survival russia to come back home and uh, we're gonna drive a little bit around out there mrs survival russia have returned surprise surprise so uh, let's take a look at things here you have very good compression in this engine here. I've seen guys just pulling their starter like this, assuming like there's no compression at all here. It's like, yeah, good compression. But let's see. Let's try and pump it a little bit. We'll try and give it a little bit of choke and then we're gonna pull it without, without the ignition on. That's always a good thing. We have ignition on now. Guys, so let's uh, go for a little drive on the field there. It's really tough to drive in this uh, powder, and uh, yeah, it's like driving a, it's like sailing a little bit, like a small uh, vessel of some kind. It's really sensitive to sidewards uh, movement and where you stand on it and so on. Uh, that's that's uh, yeah. You, you guys who drive snowmobiles know what I'm talking about. And it's very loose snow, very loose snow. Some of the, I actually seen some of the series, uh, I suppose it was a Yamaha or Polaris 850 or something like this. She couldn't drive it in the snow here, but it's also a bad driver, I guess. He was driving like this all the time, that was not so good.
So that was a little bit of driving in the powder. It's powder powder. Really, it's really hard, especially for this uh, short based uh, uh, frame here. Well, we're gonna do something about that. The longer ones, they are of course a little bit better. But uh, anyways, guys, that was the uh, introduction to our new uh, vehicle, our new snow vehicle. We can go uh, Hudson camping and whatnot and uh, this and that. So guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train and get it done. Do something awesome. And thank you very much for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one.